While the whole world is busy in Russia-Ukraine war, here ISRO did something which no one has ever imagined. Now the Indian Space Agency is literally growing new wings as it gets ready to start and deploy different space missions. Satellite developed by ISRO is going to be China and Park's worst nightmare. From a body doing pure research with little or no commercial use, the Indian Space Research Organization has become an entity helping the Indian companies and the government to explore new areas, offer new goods and services. Today we will see all the major upcoming missions of ISRO, especially RLV. Number first is Gaganyaan. Gaganyaan mission 2022 is ISRO's first human space flight that aims to take astronauts into a low Earth orbit. The ISRO is taking the help of doctors in building its human-rated spacecraft for the Gaganyaan mission. India's first human space flight that aims to take astronauts into a low Earth orbit. ISRO has roped in doctors to understand the impact of the space flight on humans and will design the spacecraft accordingly. The first unmanned mission in the Gaganyaan series was expected to be launched next year. This would be followed by another unmanned mission before Indian astronauts board the spacecraft for a sojourn in a low Earth orbit. A human-rated spacecraft should be able to accommodate the crew as if they are living in normal, acceptable conditions, and they should be able to perform various activities during their stay. Number 2 comes Aditya L1. There are many such mysteries that the sun has contained in itself. Even after so much technological and scientific advancement, we humans are unaware of them. But now to expose these mysteries, ISRO is planning to launch the Aditya L1 mission. In this mission, ISRO plans to launch Aditya L1, a coronagraphy spacecraft to study the solar atmosphere and the corona of the sun. It's being designed and developed by the ISRO and several other Indian research organizations. The Aditya L1 mission takes its name from the Sanskrit name of the sun, Aditya, and the Lagrange point where it will place L1 Lagrange point. The Aditya L1 is the first Indian dedicated mission to observe the sun which is planned to be launched by the PSLV XL launch vehicle. Third is SSLV. SSLV will be one of the India's key lightweight and reusable commercial rockets alongside those being built by private space startups in the country. The ISRO India Central Space Agency will be launching its small satellite launch vehicle within the next one or two months. The SSLV is expected to be an economical way for deploying small satellites into orbit. The Space Agency has been conducting tests for the small launch vehicle for quite some time now and has confirmed that it can carry up to 300 kg payloads to sun-synchronous orbits at up to 800 km above Earth or 500 kg to low Earth orbits at around 500 to 700 km above Earth. The SSLV could be launched by the third quarter of 2022. In March this year, the ISRO conducted a successful ground test of the SSLV's solid booster stage, which would propel it to orbit. From 2030, the SSLV chain could help ISRO launch up to 1,500 satellites from clients around the world across multiple missions. Number 4 comes the Chandrayaan-3. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is a follow-up of Chandrayaan-2 of July 2019 which aimed to land a rover on the lunar south pole. ISRO aims to launch Chandrayaan-3 in an attempt to soft land on the moon after Chandrayaan-2 hard landed on the lunar surface in 2019. The center informed parliament that based on the learnings from Chandrayaan-2 and suggestions from a national level committee, special testing of many hardware components has been successfully completed. The launch of Chandrayaan-3 is scheduled for August 2022. Number fifth is RLV. The Indian Space Agency is literally growing new wings as it gets ready to test a scaled-down version of what can be easily described as the Swadeshi Space Shuttle. The Indian Space Research Organization calls it the Reusable Launch Vehicle or RLV. 
If all goes to plan, very soon it will be seen flying over the science city in Chalakiri, Karnataka, where the first landing experiment is being planned. As Somna Chairman Isro says, we are working silently on reusable rocket technology with very low budget, very low cost and low investment. In the past, USA and Russia have flown fully-fledged winged space vehicles. Russia-USSR flew its vehicle called Buran only once in 1988 and the program was then shelved. USA mailed 135 flights of the space shuttle and in 2011 it was retired. Since then, in a new burst of energy, USA, China and India are the only countries having an active program of reusable rocket development. If all goes as per plan, India's full-fledged test of reusable launch vehicle may happen only in 2030s. ISRO's reusability is far more ambitious than the rocket stage recovery experiments carried out by SpaceX and hence it will take time to fully master. As part of development program for reusable rockets way back on May 23, 2016, ISRO had successfully tested the reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator when a 1.75 ton orbiter was hoisted into a sub-orbital flight on a special rocket some 65 kilometers above the Bay of Bengal from Shri Harikota. The flight lasted for 773 seconds and attained the maximum velocity of Mach 5 or 5 times the speed of sound. The physical landing was conducted on a simulated runway some 450 kilometers away from Shri Harikota on water. On this hypersonic landing experiment in 2016, the RLV TDHEX was not designed to float and it sank into the sea. ISRO called it successful and the era of reusability was born of the Indian Space Agency. Since then, engineers at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center in Thiruvanthapuram have been steadily working to master this complex technology. Most recently, three attempts have been made already to test the glide capability and the last attempt in April 2022 got aborted because a cyclone and heavy winds played havoc at the landing site. Somnath says there is one small window available to do this unique experiment before the monsoon hits the Chitradurga district and all efforts are being made to make sure it happens successfully. Indian space scientists are trying to master a far more complex reusable rocket, says Somnath, since ISRO wants to learn how to recover bring back to Earth the upper stage of the rocket, which is usually lost in space. The upper stage of the rocket has the most complex and the most expensive electronics, and if one can recover the upper stage, it would certainly bring down the cost of rocket launching dramatically also reduce space debris. In contrast, the much-touted reusable rocket demonstrations done by SpaceX are only of the lower states of the rocket, which are essentially metal blanks and comparatively much cheaper as they do not house expensive electronics. At present, India represents a 2% share of investments worth $447 billion made in the space sector. By 2030, collaboration with the private sector could see India take a 10% share of global investments made in the space sector. So guys, this was for today. Give us your thoughts on this in the comment section. And if you appreciate our content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your family and friends. We will meet soon in a new video. Thank you. Jai Hind.